The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the producers and or the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of FRC Media, Bristol Community College or the City of Fall River. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new season of Community Chat with Colin. I am your host, Colin Dias. Um, the last time we met, we were talking about the rail trail and the ongoing events with that. But now we are in a new season, we're in a new era. As everyone knows, we just had an election in Fall River where Jay Mayor Jesu Correa was reelected and we're gonna have a few new counselors, but in this new season, I want to get more into the people of the city and more youthful figures in our city. And that is why I am with Mr. Riley Pereira. How are you, Riley? I am well. How are you? What's your name again, Colin? Um, my name is Colin. Colin. Right. Doing well, um, Colin. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, thank you for coming on my show today. Um, I'm re I really appreciate it. You're the first person who's younger than me to be on my show. I've been wanting to get more youth on and I'm glad you came on. Oh, well, is that so? I'm, uh, I'm very honored, Mr. Collins, sir. And uh, by the way, is it okay if I say hello to a certain someone? Yeah, sure. Um, would you like to shout out anyone at home for the audience to see, to hear? No problem. To Susan Bostino, Employee of the Month, AKA my grandma, Check it out on, on TV. Woohoo! Great. I bet your grandmother's going to be really happy to see that. Um, doesn't she go to um, works at BCC? Am I right? Which is where we are right now? Yep. Nice. She, she works here at, here at uh, BCC. You know, she's. Uh, I think she's the principal, and well. She's the principal? Well, I'm not super sure if she's the principal. Well, I've seen her working in an office and stuff. Uh, well, yeah. maybe she's secretary. Yeah, maybe executive, she's executive. Being an executive uh, for, for a college is really great. You should try to get in the footsteps one day. Uh, actually, um, not really, honestly. But I am proud that she made the papers though an employee of the month and nice. stuff. But well, uh, hey, we're gonna get into you right now. So, um, actually. How about you tell us about yourself and your background? Like, just tell us about yourself. Hmm. Take your time, honestly. Well, well, I. Well, I well, tend. Hmm? Yeah, I, I, I know that's a, that's a big question. I'll break it down in the chunks for you. Where were you born? May twelfth, two thousand one. When, um, where were you born? In a hospital in Fall River. Nice, so you are born in Fall River. <laughs> nice. Um, so you grew up in the city, I, I would expect? Well... All your, all your life? Were you a lifelong resident of the city? Well, the first seven or eight years I grew up in Fall River, then we ended up moving to Newport, Rhode Island and stuff for a few years and stuff. Nice. But... The house was getting a little too small for amount of for the amount of stuff we were bringing in. We decided to, a few years later, then after that, we decided to move to Westport. Then, unfortunately, due to family issues that I can't really explain on live television or to... No, 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 it's okay. Just explain what you can and want to. Ma decided to move back to Fall River to raise my two cousins, Chantel and Jasmine. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, including me as well, you know. Nice. Um. She... She's a good mom, you know? Oh, that's really nice. I see your mom's there. Say hi to your mom. Mm-hmm. That's her over there. Um, when you are in Newport, um, was it fun? Yeah, Newport was vi not really that much of winter there. Oh, I bet. I bet with the beaches around and 
to a little bit more south of us, it's nice weather. Did you, where'd you go to school in Newport? I believe it was called, oh geez, how did I forget the school's name in Newport? Uh, it's okay if you can't remember. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't really remember. That's kind of disappointing though. It's okay. Um, did, did you enjoy growing up in Newport though? Um, oh no, Newport was great. Very serene beaches and gooseberries. No, I bet, I bet. I've been to Newport a couple of times. I love going downtown. Great scenery, great people. I like going on a Newport Bridge. You ever been to Jamestown a lot? Yeah, I've been to Jamestown. I remember going down by this one street where it felt like, not Disney-ish, but you know, sort of Disney-ish by that main street and stuff with all the I boats in the I harbor. See. That place was great, you know? Nice, nice. I we usually went there for the 4th of July. Yeah, I bet I bet Newport has great 4th of July parades. Rhode Island has great parades. I love going to Rhode Island for the parades. But I know you came back up since you're here now. Um, for high school, you went to Atlanta Charter. Um, I know for a short time. How did you like it? Atlanta Charter High School? Yeah, it sort of had a bit of its ups and downs, I mean. Oh, you're, you're, you know, you're right. If you don't want to get into it, it's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. I would love to explain, uh, actually. No, go ahead. Um, see, in Atlanta Charter High School, I had, like, a friend named Destiny, you know? She, she, she was, we usually talked and hang out, and, you know, I felt like she was kind of there by my side and stuff, and, you know, she's, she was a very good friend of mine and stuff. She's still a good friend. We, we still hang out outside of school and stuff, although I worry a little bit how she's doing in Atlantis without me, even though it's only been like a few days since I've been in this ship. You know. I am saying you know a lot, you know? No, it's fine. No, it's okay. You can say whatever you want. It's your interview. And but, but, I'm sorry, go on. Anyways, yeah, there were a few friends that I talked to that was very supportive of me. There was Alyssa, there was Tabitha, uh, Angelo from time to time. Um, it's yeah, and that's all from the top of my head. One of the major reasons why I left Atlantis Charter is because there, there has been a lot of bullying going on there in Atlantis Charter High School. One of the, oh, really? A, yeah. A student named Javen took a picture of me like during class and stuff. I think it was a picture of me playing with a tie or something, you know? You oh, know, okay. Just flickering my tie around. And so he takes the picture, and for... TV law reasons I can't say. He put a meme on, he, he made it into a meme. You know what memes are? Yeah. Yeah, he took a picture. I know what memes are. And, do, and by TV laws and stuff, I can't say what the meme said and stuff. But uh, after, after the picture, one of the students, I can't exactly remember whose name and who. Yeah, I have trouble forgetting from time to time. No, it's okay. Tell us whatever you know. Anyways, I, one of the students stands up for me, and they, they did a whole thing where, they, Good. where it says, hashtag, we stand for Riley, you know? Really? No, yeah. that's really nice. The day I, yeah, it uh, made my mom cry a little and stuff when she found out about it and stuff, but uh, it didn't really bother me at first because I didn't see the picture. I just thought it was like a short video or something, you know? Hmm. And, and I thought, what, that video is going to give him 12 views? <laughs> well, that actually warmed me up inside to hear that there's a lot of good people, and that's what people should remember. There are a lot of more good people than there is bad, and that's what we should focus on in the city and across this country as we deal with some tough times in this society today. A couple days later, I the, di the day after school, I couldn't go because Ma had like an operation or something, you know. I don't want to tell what, what the operation at the hospital was because it's kind of embarrassing. No, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Um, we can, let's talk about it. Let's, let's keep this interview with you. Um, you know what, what, yeah, what made you come? This is your show. We'll, we'll talk about what you want, what questions well, you would like to answer. We're going to talk about you. Um, what made you come to Bishop Connolly? Well, I just walked. Well, as I walked in, the, principals, the principal seemed like a nice guy, and the teacher seemed like nice people. I just you know, did my ordinary Riley Pereira thing, just walked in there, say, hey, what's going on, how you doing, you know, something like that. Okay. And, and just like that, in an instant, just like I knew, 
they loved me before they even met me, you know? And uh, fun fact, my tatia Courtney, my tatia Courtney Bouchard used to come to Bishop Conley and stuff, you know? When? To come to that high school. I think when I was around six or seven. She's, oh, okay. She's pretty young for her age, you know, as an auntie. She's like 20-something. No, it's okay. I have um, plenty of friends that are uncles right now, so that's not... Though now I wonder, did she ever talk about me back in high school? She probably did, but probably, who knows. Maybe. Ask her that. Don't worry, I, I know she did. She's a good Tatia. She, uh, she doesn't really like it when I call her Tatia, but I say that a lot just for fun, you know. But not in an offensive yeah. way, you know, just joking no, around. No, no, I know what you mean. That's, that's funny. Um, I know you're still young. I'm still young, um, but... Throughout your years, I'll answer this question right after you. What do you like the most about being a kid? You know, you don't got to worry. Well, I'm still thinking about my future adult career and stuff. And honestly, Yeah, and we're going to get into that in a minute. Yeah, I'll, I'll answer that in the next question. You know, it's it's got its perks being a kid. You know, you, there are no worries. You don't got to work. You don't got to worry about getting a job. Well, actually, I'm still looking for a job, honestly, and, you know. Um, well, you know, I just get to relax. No, I understand. Um, for me, best thing about being a kid is you get to learn a lot. And I'm still learning about life and just culture day by day on what I want to be when I grow up, which is in, to be in the role of politics and media. And that's just the best thing is learning and just making moments in life, moments and experiences, and just, like you said, being a kid. And it's, it's, it's really fun Normally in my kid. free time, I write about my, I write in my journal, you know, as, nice. a, as a teen and as a kid, you know, just talk about what's on my mind. I even read it to J Jasmine and Ma some of the time and stuff. Nice. Who's Jasmine? My, one of my cousins that Mom adopted and stuff. Hello. Oh, nice, nice. You play any sports? Not much of a sports guy. Oh, uh, okay. If you were to play, if, if you were to play one sport, what sport would you play? Dodgeball. You get to throw a ball at somebody. But yeah, I pro that that was probably offensive. Uh, I don't, I don't find offense to that. Um, about yeah. if you were to play a high school sport, I don't know many high schools that play dodgeball. I love dodgeball. We're just playing with my friends in that gym. If you were to play one high school sport. Which one would it play? And I'll give you a list to choose from. You have soccer, football, hockey, lacrosse, track, and baseball. Which one would you pick out of those six? What's lacrosse? Lacrosse. It's okay. when you, that's not many people play it, um, but I like the sport. It's basically you throw around the ball with like a net and tap the net. Oh, so it's sort of like tennis, but with a net or something. Well, tennis does have a net. No, it's um, yeah, yeah, it's like soccer. It's, no, it's like hockey, but you t you have a stick. It's just like hockey, except you're on the f like grass, and you have a stick instead. Instead of like hitting it with a puck, you're catching it with like a stick with a net on it. Of course. So you would want to play lacrosse? N yeah. Not similar uh. to hockey, and you know, hockey's a is just as dangerous a sport as football. Oh, I play football. You should you should consider playing football. We need some players. Oh, it's really well, fun. Uh, I'm just yeah, kidding. I'm, I'm, only, I'm only kidding with you. You don't have to play football <laughs> if you don't want to. To me, football is kind of a dangerous sport, and uh, I mean, you're just out in there in the football field. I mean, there's 23 tough football players and only one tiny person that's you, not you specifically, like the person playing football. And... Well, we have some small guys on our team, and they're, you just got to be fast. You just got to avoid them. And I don't know. I play football. I had my coach on this show a couple weeks ago, and then he went through all the concussion protocols. It's actually when, you, when they teach you how to, like, really play the sport safely and you take the time to like work out, it really actually changes your life because you, you, you're getting your body good to work when you're working out and you're going on the field and you can have fun. Yeah, it's fine, but, to, but I'd just rather not play football. No, I understand. And once you have the football, the dangerous part is once you have the, fo I the let, football. I let my bias come in. 
And the dangerous part is once you have the football in your hands, 23 of those football players chase after you with that football well, in your hand and dogpile you. Well, it's only 11. Only 11. Only 11 people are on the defense if you have the ball. Of course. Yeah. So it's, but you have – well, it depends. Well, we're not going to make this a football episode, but I got to say one thing. Like, you have 11, 11 line. You throw it. You have guards. You just got to run around maybe two or three people. But we're going to change the subject. Ah, there you um, go. See, we're learning stuff. And then the next thing you – and then and then once you black out, you wake up in the hospital – Hospital, either drinking your protein shake or your Gatorade out of a out of a, one of those tubes in the hospital. Anyways, that's all I've got to say about football. Let's I love on. protein shakes. Um, what's your favorite food? My favorite food. Yeah. Hmm. Speaking of protein shakes. Well, I'm not really much of a fit. I don't really choose much of favorites and stuff, but. Uh, it seemed like a food that you like eating. Well, or consume them. Yeah. Normally, on my free time, I eat willow tree chicken salad sandwiches. Hmm. You know, I never heard of it, but I like I I never heard of that specific brand. I like eating chicken salad though. You should try the willow tree. It's delicious. Willow tree. All right, I'll I'll actually put that down. Oh, did did I did I get what did I seem too intense when I said that it's delicious? No, man. you do not. I'll look at it later. Um, what would you like to see most improved in society today with everything that's going on in the world? Well, I'd like to say the driving. There are a lot of bad drivers out in this city. Eh, no, of no offense. Oh, to you. you're right. My ma is driving, and let's say she's definitely growing up like grandpa, you know? He would all... Only this time she got even more... She's gone through even more road rage. She probably, she's, she's just, she's just driving, you know, going to work or doing her free time, you know. I'm going to put your mom under the bus. <laughs> Good one, you know, because, you know, traffic. <laughs> you got but, me there. But you like to see driving improved in society the most? Yeah, so my mom can feel more safe and more calm out. Well, well, she's, not well, an, she's not an angry person. She's in general, not putting your mom under the bus again. What would you like to see change with the laws? Hmm. What would you like to see? What would you like to see in action improved? To, like, to, to help what you said about driving. What would you like to see changed? Well, well, there used to be, lo well. I don't really know much of what's going on in Fall River, but I know that things have been... Not even in Fall River, like driving in general. I don't know, maybe maybe improved driving teachers. I don't exactly know. I'm not, ex I'm not exactly the no, mayor, okay. but... No, 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 it's okay. You can, give, you can give your opinion. It's okay. I'm pretty sure the mayor would like some advice. Hmm. I never really just... I never really... He's about six years older than us. <laughs> I never really got a question about how to improve political life in Vault River. No, not political life, driving life. Mm. That's okay. We'll um, go into another question. Well, this question sort of has to tie into what we're just saying. What would you want to do when you grow up, and how would you wish to improve society when you grow up? Well, I'd like to, well, I'd like to start acting. You know, I'd like to... In I'd like to entertain the local community, you know, have every parent, ch child, you know, watch TV and they laugh and say, hey, it's my favorite guy that's on TV. I mean, you ever see Will Ferrell? You ever, s no. you e you ever see Will Ferrell or uh, Jim Carrey on TV? Whew, those guys had l have loads of peop people looking forward to seeing them on TV, you know? No. I know what you mean. I love Will Ferrell. I love Jim Carrey. Um, I love all those comedians, really. Well, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite actor? Hmm. If you don't have a favorite, just say one you like. Just give me like three seconds to think. Not three okay. minutes, just three seconds. Take your time. Well, we have just a few minutes left, but Kevin Hart's funny. All right, I respect that. I like that. I like Kevin Hart too. He's funny when he's on solo. Just. 
solo um part what you call it wait he's wait he's wait, in when a he, video no he like no he's on youtube and he's just um like roasting people like on his own stand up comedy that's what it's called um two more one more question what this is going to be the last question. What do you think about Fall River in um, general? Well, it's not because this Fall River is the it's okay. You can you, It's okay. You can you can critique it. You can have compliments. You can have um, complaints. You can have both. From what you've experienced in Fall River, what, 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 what do you think about it, I the like, city? I love Fall River because of the memories, you know, the family memories that I have there. You nice. Know, it was, I was born in this city, and I... I played in this city, and I wrote in my journal in this city, you know. Yeah. Plus, I Plus, I live in this city. Win, 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 win. Nice. What would oh. you like to see improved in the city? I'd say the public schools. I mean, I heard Durfee has security. You know, I heard that Durfee school had as security. We, I mean, public schools now in Fall River are, are living in a complete society like public school society of fear. Plus, I've already told what I've been through in Atlantis Charter High School. You know? No, I know what you mean. And I'll admit, there is problems with the public schools that I like to see fixed. One being bullying, that there needs to be a bigger effort, not just from teachers, but people who firsthand see it and from the students. And I'm going to actually be announcing some of my ideas, not just for Bishop Connolly, but for all public schools to deal with bullying and other issues that students face in a few days, actually. So be focused on my Facebook page on Community Chat with Colin, everyone, for that, or, or my Facebook page, Colin Dias. And I believe that's all the time we have for today. Thank you again, Riley, for coming on my show. And You're very welcome. <laughs> it's been a pleasure to have you on here, and thank you for watching everyone have a great day good to be here want to shake hands or something yeah while sure the, while the video ends right um usually like i oh. just wait a couple of seconds but no you're right want to shake hands before the video ends or something yeah we'll shake yeah, hands. like people doing the public news yeah, shake forward, forward. hello there oh. we go oh.